please explain to me, how are you going to create that aggressive calorie deficit on a high fat carnivore diet? I'll wait. Give me a meal plan. This is why you keep gaining weight on the carnivore diet. I have a good one for you today. I hope I don't turn it into a rant. There is not a month that I don't onboard a new client who has been through the priming protocol on the carnivore diet, whereby they're told to not count their calories, eat all the butter. And not only are they not losing weight, most people are gaining weight. And no, the fasting isn't fixing anything. I have other videos where I rant on this topic. I'll try to link them at the end of this YouTube video so you can go into a deeper dive onto the priming protocol and the disaster that it is for weight loss. Trust me, I did not drop down to 105 pounds and maintain it by going high fat carnivore. I did the complete opposite. I did a PSMF diet whereby I lowered my fats to a minimum. Now it is important to note that I also raised my baseline dopamine so that I would lower my body weight set point as I explained in this YouTube video. So make sure you check out those YouTube videos before you just copy what I did because you need to understand exactly how these things work because you don't want to slow down your metabolism. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Zaldivar, and I was featured on the first ever carnivore diet TV show called Reverse TV Series. I've also quit my nutrition professor jobs at the University of Miami, Miami Dade College, and the American College of Sports Medicine so I could focus on creating content, doing research, and coaching the thousands of clients that I've coached towards better health and weight loss. I've also lost and maintained 35 pounds despite being overweight from a very, very young age and dealing with low motivation, depression, and anxiety. And I've been able to maintain that weight loss by lowering my body weight set point. So just this morning, I saw a client who was in the priming group coaching and there isn't really a week that I'm not reminded of the catastrophes that are happening in that way of helping people lose weight. If you're not familiar with what the priming protocol is, it's basically a sub fraction within the carnivore community that is recommending to people to not count their calories and just eat as much fat as they can because the idea is you cannot overeat fat, which is obviously Obviously not true and so I figured it's time for a little refresher to help people because you might be gearing up to get back on track now that school's back in session and the summer is over and everybody wants to get back to a routine and a structure this is the best time to do it right this time around so the client that triggered this YouTube video her story is that she joined the priming group coaching and so you know just not count calories just eat carnivore don't worry about the fats and she kept gaining weight until she finally found me and she was at her wits end. She was very depressed and she thought that maybe nothing is gonna work for her. From the first week of working together, she dropped five pounds and since then she's been dropping three pounds consistently. We're already at 20 pounds down and it hasn't even been six weeks of working together. And in a couple of weeks, she's gonna hit her teenage body weight. And did I mention that she's in her 60s? So no, your metabolism is not broken. You do not need to heal. You know the fastest way to improve your health and heal is by losing weight and shrinking your body fat stores because fat doesn't just sit there storing extra calories. It's an active organ that's constantly pumping out inflammatory molecules into your blood. And so the faster you can get that off of you, the faster you're going to heal, have more energy, be happier. And then you can clean up the diet even more. If you're watching this video and you're gaining weight on a carnivore diet, it's because you're taking advice from people who never had a weight loss transformation. I'm not talking about inflammation being bloated and showing a before and after. I'm talking actual body fat, actual loss of body fat. Unless you go through this process yourself, you'll never know what it actually takes to be able to do it right. Now, if you want to lose body fat faster, then you have to be more aggressive with a caloric deficit. I think a lot of people try the calorie deficit route and it doesn't work for them and they just decide that calorie deficit doesn't work and it's only about the insulin and it's because they don't realize that they're not actually in a calorie deficit when they think they are in a calorie deficit. That's actually the bulk of the work that I do with my clients. This is why there are coaches. This is why this is a career option. It's because there's a lot that goes on into making sure you are in a caloric deficit, into making sure that you are not adapting to whatever exercise or step count we're giving you. There are a lot of troubleshooting things that we have to do along the way. They're simple, but unless you know what you're doing, you're going to be spinning your wheels for years 
and losing weight and regaining it, losing weight and regaining it, and then claiming that you have an eating disorder or a binge eating disorder when it has only to do with the speed of your metabolism and healing your metabolism and speeding it up and lowering your body weight set point. Also, the less body fat you have on you, the more aggressive we have to be with a calorie deficit. Those last five to 20 pounds are not gonna come off in the same way that the first 20 pounds came off. Again, you have to know what you're doing. So please explain to me, how are you gonna create that aggressive calorie deficit on a high fat carnivore diet? I'll wait. Give me a meal plan. What percentage of the population has had fantastic body composition transformation on high fat carnivore? It's very, very few. And I know because I get them all because they all try that route, doesn't work, and then they stumble across my message. Now, if there is a very strong reason why we have to do high fat carnivore, then you should be willing to pay the price to create that caloric deficit. And you do that by increasing the amount of exercise that you're doing, the amount of steps that you're doing, the intensity of your workout. So it's more resistance training, more intense resistance training, more cardio, faster cardio, more steps, etc. And you might want to do that, and that's commendable because that way you're optimizing for health and lowering inflammation and also optimizing for fast weight loss. And that's great. But weight loss is hard enough without having to add in another lofty goal, which is optimizing for health and being the healthiest person on the planet. There are much, much easier way to go about this. Now, I told myself not to forget to promote my reverse dieting guide, the Super Breed Metabolism, because it is so fitting within this context. I do such a terrible job at promoting this guide. Guide, but it is so important because it teaches you one of the ways in which you can speed up your metabolism and by doing that you're gonna lower your body weight set point so if you take that that is going to ensure long-term maintenance of your lean physique but if you want both sustainable fitness and fast and easy weight loss then you have to do more than one thing you do have to create a calorie deficit you have to lower your body weight set point you have to raise your baseline dopamine levels to learn more about how to speed up your metabolism using the reverse dieting method and the specific training technique that can speed up your metabolism check out my guide super breed metabolism at drsarahzoldivar.com forward slash shop all right i hope this rant hit home it's just so frustrating sometimes where it's like every month sometimes every week i onboard a new client who it's and it's like always the same story which i'm glad that they finally find my content obviously but there's just much easier ways to go about this without wasting years of your life thinking you're doing the right thing thinking that oh this is going to help me lose weight and heal when in fact you're just spinning your wheels and wasting more time when you could be improving your mental health lowering your body weight set point feeling amazing having more energy having more motivation all these things Things, it's just about facing the results. Are you getting results? Yes or no? You shouldn't be waiting months before you see a pound drop. You're not getting any healthier with all this extra body fat, releasing all of these inflammatory molecules into your body for months on end. You're actually taking steps backwards with your health. I honestly cannot imagine the mental health impact that this is having on people where they think, okay, they just believe influencers that calories don't matter. There's an easier way to do that. And of course we all want the easy way. It's just actually the harder way because when you're spinning your wheels and getting frustrated and losing self efficacy and self-confidence and just developing this belief that oh something's broken in me I can't lose weight that's not an easy way that's actually the hardest route you can take reach out if you're fed up if you want to speed up your metabolism lower your body weight set point as quickly as possible lose weight very quickly and then be able to maintain it you don't want to lose weight and then having to white knuckle your days because now your body weight set point is still high but you're at a lower body weight and so your body's trying to fight you to be able to go back to your natural setting point you want to be able to do this right so that as you're losing weight quickly we're also making sure that you're very comfortable at the lower and lower and lower body weight so that you're basically activating your skinny genetics as I explained in that video on lowering your body weight set point. I've done it. I've coached thousands of clients on how to do that. It works like clockwork every time. This is what you get when you have extensive cutting edge scientific knowledge and education in addition to massive amounts of real life experience. Check out my coaching packages at drsarahzoldivar.com forward slash coaching. I generally recommend the premium package because especially initially you need more support to understand the way to do things. So I had 
highly recommend the 12 week premium package. I see you for an hour every single week. You get unlimited email support, unlimited adjustments to meal plans and exercise plans, just to make sure that we never waste a week. We never want to plateau. We want to keep it moving. We want the momentum to stay there. We want you to stay excited throughout the whole process. You'll also get massive support and accountability and motivation. And of course, cutting edge exercise and nutrition guidance. Now, if you use code YouTube, you will get 50% off my coaching packages and the coupon expires within the next 48 hours. I hope this hit home. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I read and answer all of them and make sure you give this YouTube video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.